Hi everyone, this is Alex Peter here in my Richmond Annex studio and I just wanted to give you all a progress report on what's going on this week in the studio. So here we are, we're looking at my uh, study for the Epic of Gilgamesh, my next sculptural project. Uh, this study is in uh, Roma Plastilina, it's about 5-6 uh, inches tall and it was initially designed as a bookend and of course the story is from the Epic of Gilgamesh, it's the story of the creation of Enkidu. So, um, as I turn it around, if I can, I want to show you uh, basically some aspects of the sculpture. On the back here, I'm planning to recreate a Sumerian or Akkadian uh, um, uh, clay tablet with writing in cuneiform from the Epic of Gilgamesh. And so what has happened this week is that uh, I really jumped ahead on uh, the larger sculpt. So let's turn it over to here. So this is what we have so far. If I can zoom back. And this is uh, the um, 25, uh, 24 inch uh, um, clay enlargement that I'm working on. Uh, the armatures are 22 and a half inches and um, I'm designing this so it can be molded um, easier. If I run back up it to here, the basic idea is that, let's turn this around again, is that there's a cut line in between there and I can basically remove each side, get in, work on details, take the arms off, work on the portrait and then when this is uh, finally cast in uh, bronze um, it can be molded and uh, cast much easier. Um, so let's talk about the armature. Okay, so as you see here um, this gizmo comes out. It's pivoted on a screw right here there are rollers embedded in this platform and a similar roller system is embedded in this one. So both of them can scoot this way or that way so I can get in to work on the figure. There's going to be a flange down here and then a 22 and a half inch female figure here. Now normally this sculpture wouldn't be so detailed right now. Um, my goal this week was just to, you know, sort of map out the whole thing, kind of like a painting where you want to get all the white of the canvas covered, uh, the gesso covered, um, if you work that way. Anyway, um, I was, uh, I ran into uh, a material issue in that if you can see here, there is, uh, hopefully you can see this, there's wire mesh over the styrofoam. The styrofoam makes the whole structure uh, much lighter, but the wire mesh is stapled onto the styrofoam so that the clay really adheres uh, to the uh, styrofoam. And so I am without wire mesh and I'm waiting for some new wire mesh to come. And so basically I can only work on the areas that already have mesh underneath it. So I just uh, basically I didn't want to stop so I came in and just put in a lot more detail. Now there are some things happening here. Uh, let's talk about the armature itself and that is the male figure here is going to be a little bit beefier. Uh, this arm will be basically attached as it is now but this one will have a concentric piping system so that this arm will be removable um, out that way. And then down here, I also plan to basically have a cut line running here and then down here. So this whole unit can be molded separately. And so rubber can be thrown straight up against um, that area and you don't have to deal with the um, cavities that are back here. And then this whole unit here is on wire mesh and can easily be removed as well. Um, so I'm planning for the undercarriage maybe to have a floral design or um, cuneiform writing. 
And I'm thinking an, initially my idea was that the base here would be just as is, but now I'm thinking of um, uh, a geometric uh, coracle uh, type um, uh, base that would work well with the narrative. Um, and then here I'm uh, working with, uh, let's roll in here. This is uh, supposed to be a meteorite. Um, uh, still working on it, work in progress. But uh, it comes from that form right there. And the idea is that uh, there's a reference to um, Gilgamesh having a dream about the birth um, uh, contemporaneous with the birth of uh, Enkidu. And I wanted to throw that in. Um, I've done some research this week on meteorites and found that um, the source material, the images of meteorites I was working with, isn't really the best because um, the, uh, the meteorites that would be better for the narrative, ones that contain um, interactions with water and um, carbon and building blocks for life, um, uh, don't look as alien and um, uh, don't look anything like these meteorites or the meteorites that I was looking at to make that. So there's going to be some thinking going on about that. Um, and then also displacement of things. Um, nothing is really nailed down actually at this point. Um, the knee here, um, even the anatomy, um, the placement of the, the, the bits here and the ins and outs, and even the plantar flexion and medial lateral um, movement of that foot, um, I'm still working on. But uh, basically, that's what I've been doing this week. And uh, also biking uh, 100, 119 miles on my way to biking about 170 plus miles this week. So um, it's just a great morning in my studio and just wanted to let you know what's up. So take it easy and I'll talk to you soon. Shalom.